Hello Bruins! Of the questions we get asked in the library, how to cite and use citation styles are some of the most common. To make things easy for you, we've created this series that breaks down each of the major components of the three citation styles used at KCC. This video focuses on the formatting aspect of APA style. APA style, short for the American Psychological Association, was originally created for psychology, but its use has spread throughout the social and applied sciences. It's a fairly precise and rigid style and can be difficult to master. Thankfully, the most recent edition of APA, the 7th edition, added a lot more flexibility to the style and included a few changes that make it much easier to set up your paper. The traditional font for APA style is Times New Roman, size 12, double spaced. With APA 7, you now have a few more options, including Calibri size 11, Georgia size 11, and Arial size 11. Whatever you choose, your paper will always be double spaced. Your information will appear alone on the first page of the paper called the title page. This page will include the title of your paper bolded, your name, the name of the school, your course number and title, your instructor's name, and the due date for your assignment. All of this is centered horizontally and vertically on your first page. You'll also want to include a page number in the top right header of each page, including this one. Just make sure the font for your page number matches whatever you pick for the rest of your paper. Sometimes your instructor might ask you to include an abstract, which will appear alone on the next page. If they don't, your second page will begin with your title, again centered and bolded, and then the regular text of your paper. If you have any section headings, these appear centered on their own line and are sometimes bolded. Most likely, though, you'll continue writing normally until you get to the references page, which we will be covering in a separate video. Next in this series is an explanation of citing sources in the body of your text, so be sure to click the button in the top right to keep watching. You can also find more in-depth guides on APA style on our citation guide. Links in the description. And as always, if you have questions, please contact your Morris librarians. Thanks for watching.